Hello students, welcome to the sessions. Today I am going to explain about Darshanas and its Kala Nirupana. In previous class, previous session we have seen what is Darshana, what are the Darshanas. So in this class I am going to explain Darshana, Kala Nirupana and origin of all Darshanas. As I told in previous session, Darshana means Drishir Prekshane, Darshana, knowing self, Antar Jnana, Antar Drishti, that is Darshana. Through all other philosophies, there are six philosophies focusing on one view, that is Darshana, that itself inner awareness, inner perception, so Antar Jnana. So all the reliable sources for these darshanas are Vedas. So Vedas are Ananta. There is no count, so this much Vedas. Vedas are Anantas, unlimited. So that those Ananta Vedas are reliable source for the each darshanas. So darshana have main points with the pramanas. So, pramana means evidence. So, basic evidence with the evidence, they are focusing on prameyas or objects. So, in the Indian history, there are different time. Indian history, there are different philosophies have been focused in each yuga. So, Bharatiya Sahitya is divided into five division. All the Indian literature divided into five divisions. There are Vaidika Yuga. So Vedas and its literatures, so those have been focused in Vaidika Yuga. So later Brahmana Yuga or Upanishadika Yuga. So mainly focused on Upasanas and meditations and other practice of yoga that is called as Aupanishadika Yoga. So later Sutra Yuga with the Sutras with the proper pronunciation of Sutra they have generated new energy among the all great personalities. So the Sutras are six, those are six Darshanas. So Nyaya Sutra, Vaisheshika Sutra, Yoga Sutra, Sankhya Sutra, Mimamsa and Vedanta Sutras. So Sutra Yuga. Then Kavya Yuga. So Kavya Yuga as Kaviratna, Kalidasa, Bana, Bharavi, so great Kavya have been authored by great personalities. So Kavya Yuga. So Madhya Kalina Acharyas and again Gadya Yuga with the poetic and with the literature have been published in many other literatures. So, and the Darshanas had an influence of Vedas, there is no doubt, and with the Upanishad, both the influenced on Darshanas. Okay, because some of the word used in them are similar to Vedas and Upanishad. In ancient days, all the students were bound to study all the darshanas and shastras which exist during their period as a part of their general education schedule. So Shabda Vidya, Shabda Vidya as a grammar and literature. So understanding Vyakarana and its lit literature that becomes Shabda Vidya. Second one, Shilpa Vidya, art and craft. Later, Chikitsa Vidya, main focus on Chikitsa Vidya. So, science of medicine. Later, Hetu Vidya. Hetu, a philosophy and logic. So, later, Adhyatma Vidya. So, Adhyatma Vidya or spiritual science. So, all these categories, Shabda Vidya, Shilpa Vidya, Chikitsa Vidya, Hetu Vidya, Adhyatma Vidya. All these five educational values have been focused so that 
without knowing the fundamental of above sciences one cannot get complete knowledge on darshanas so sushruta samhita says ekam shastram adhiyano na vidyat shastram nischayam tasmat bahushrutah shastram vijaniyat chikitsakah chikitsakah one who is a doctor or physician he has to know the other system of medicine as in philosophy one system of philosophy to philosopher has to understand other philosophy so that ekam shastram he should not be limited to one particular philosophy either he may focus on one philosophy he may interested in nyaya philosophy all other philosophies also to be learned basically so that is a fundamental qualification of each darshanikas each darshana shastra is saying the same module that one who has to learn the fundamental of other philosophies then finally he can go for whatever the interested field so so classifications of darshanas so darshanas are classified into two main categories astika and nastika astika one who believe the vedas he is named as astika darshana and one which philosophy is based on other literatures named as nastika darshanas so astika and nastika there are six darshanas based, based on astika darshana so there are three system of philosophies are based on nastika darshana one who is accept the vedas one who does not accept the vedas those are also accepted in indian philosophy so they are astika and nastika astika one who believe on the god and existence of vedas and its reliable sources and one who is not accepting vedas and acceptance of the god through his own philosophy as gautama buddha formed as buddhism then later charvaka and again jainism so jainism charvaka and buddhism are the nastika darshanas they are also have more input on the darshanas so those six darshanas and three darshanas are named as indian philosophical values have based in e these six philosophies plus three nastika philosophies astika darshana and nastika darshana which have strong belief in the existence of the vedas atma paramatma jnana ajnana have been discussed and again janana marana moksha which believes that body and soul are separate they believe the existence of ishvara that is astika darshana whereas nastika darshana focuses on so nast nastika darshana nastika darshana does not believes on vedic reliable sources and it has its own reliable sources as pramanas charvaka and jainism and buddhism the three philosophies are named as nastika darshana so astika darshanas are nyaya vaisheshika sankhya yoga and purva mimamsa and uttara mimamsa and nastika darshanas are jainism buddhism and charvaka so totally nine philosophies are famous or familiar with each indian other indian philosophies so thank you